Hello, so I wanted to do a pretty quick video, um, just on some thoughts and um, insights that were coming up. Um, so I'm gonna talk. I wanted to talk a little bit about how God sees us. So the way God sees us is such a vast contrast to. The people in our lives that have hurt us, the people in our life that have um, maybe said different words to us um, over the course of our life, um, how God sees us, and I would say his love for us is um, such a huge, vast contrast to that. So I just wanted to um, mention that and just for something to really reflect on. Those critical words that are said to you, um, those harsh words that are said to you, those negative words that are said to you, um, for anyone that has ever torn you down, um, or been judgmental of you, or um, just all those things. God doesn't see you in that way. So God isn't the one um, just waiting to tear you down for uh, any and every mistake you make. Um, and I mention this because um, I used to kind of see God in this way. Um, when you have had different experiences in your life. Um, and sometimes, not in every case, but sometimes when we have gone through experiences like these in our life, we also will um, learn to view God kind of in a similar way. Um, so I was always surprised when I came to God and um, reminded that how God sees me and who he is and his love for me is such a vast contrast to, um, to that. So I hope it's something that you can, um, take it. And I hope by me mentioning this, that, um, any words you have heard in your life or how you have learned to view God, um, I hope that, uh, you would just be able to see him through through a lens of love and the love he has for you um, to know that it's unconditional. And I pray that um, God would just flood every lie in your mind, every lie, every harsh word ever spoken to you, every criticism, every time you've ever felt um, torn down. Um, I pray that you just flood every lie with the truth of his love and his light. Um, and I pray that he uh, would renew our minds to see ourselves the way he sees us. That you are so valuable, so significant, so precious to God and that um, as I mentioned he loves you unconditionally that means his love is constant for you um, and this is um, kind of an analogy I guess that has really been helpful for me um, but I wanted to share it with you so We hear all the time that we are God's sons and daughters, right? That we are his children, we are children of God. So one day um, I was thinking about um, if I have children one day. And I was thinking about how I want my <coughs> child to feel really good about themselves and feel confident and um, have love for themselves and um, to see themselves in a positive light and to know how 
important they are and how valuable they are. And um, I was thinking about this, right? And I was thinking about how um, if I had children, I want my future children to feel this way about themselves. Um, I started thinking about it, you know, and I was just like, you know, I, I want my future children to feel that way about themselves. Like that is my daughter, uh, my future daughter. Um, but I started thinking about that and I was just like, wow, it really hit me that I really believe that's the way God feels about us only. Um, that's only a glimpse of his love for us because our human love is, um, imperfect and fallible, but the Lord's love is unfailing and, and perfect and completely unconditional. So I started thinking about that one day and, um, yeah, it really just came to mind that, uh, you know, I am God's daughter. We are God's sons and daughters. We are um, God's children. Um, and not only that, I believe this is the, the kind of love that he has for us, but that how much greater is his love for us. Not only that in that he sent his only son to die on the cross, but that we are the very people he has created. We are his very creations. So like compared to human love, how much greater and deeper um, do you think God's love is for us? And I was just sitting and reflecting upon that one day and um, I just wanted to share that with you. I know some of us can have a hard time grasping God's love for us. Or even how to be kind to ourselves. Perhaps even from, you know, a Christian standpoint of trying to do everything that we can right. And um, I wanted to just invite you into this into this truth of the Lord's love for us. For us to know that God's love for us is a vast contrast to the way other people have uh, imperfectly loved us or um, hurt us. I want us to know like how different it is from that. That God doesn't look at you through those words that were spoken over you. That what he thinks of you, how he sees you, who you really are, is completely different from the words you've heard in your life. Unless those words were to build you up in confidence. So, um, I want you to just take any words that you are carrying, that you're holding, that you, um, have carried throughout your life, that you've heard in your life. And I want you to just let go of them. Know that God wants to take them from you. God doesn't want you to carry those on your shoulders. God doesn't want you to see yourself in that way and, and continue to see yourself um, through that critical lens, through maybe you have um, learned to see yourself. And I just want you to understand that God, um, God wants you to see yourself in a positive way. Yes, even if you are struggling with um, the OCD thoughts and um, trying to do everything perfectly and you feel like God is upset at you, God's love is constant and unconditional for you. 
He loves you just as you are. He loves you when those thoughts are running through your mind, when you don't do everything perfectly. In fact, you weren't made to do everything perfectly. Jesus lived the perfect life that we can. We're not put on this earth to be perfect. But I want you to know, God, wants you to see yourself the way he sees you. Through the eyes of his love, through the eyes of his grace, through the eyes of his mercy, through the eyes of his precious child, his creation, the very person he has created. And I know that this is like a really hard thing to grasp. Um, and that it does take time but I just want to encourage you just to take all of this in to believe that God loves you to believe that God sees you in a positive light to believe that the Lord's love for you is so much greater than the people that have hurt you in your life it's such a vast contrast to the words that you've heard or the pain that you've endured. That the Lord doesn't want to um, hurt you or point out everything you did wrong or you feel like you do wrong, but he wants to meet you and embrace you in his love. That he wants to renew your mind in his truth of how he sees you, that you are precious to him, that you are worth everything to him. That he wants to help you let go of the lies that you've held on to and believed for so long, in a way that only he can. Like If it feels like it's so hard to do that and you don't know how to let go of the pain of those words or the pain that you've been carrying for so long that God wants to help you do that in the way that only he can, in the way that only he can through his supernatural power and love. But I hope overall this video would just be a reminder as I kind of walk through this myself that We don't have to carry those words that we've heard in our lives or those insecurities that we can move forward, that we can have a new life, especially through God when we feel like we are struggling to do things or can't do things, especially through God, new life is possible. that we would believe that no matter what we've been through, no matter what pain we may be carrying, that he is the God that makes all things new. And I wouldn't be sitting here talking about this if I hadn't seen it in my own life but i can honestly say yes it's absolutely true even in your most hopeless situations even when things feel like they're spinning out of your control and look completely bleak and i believe as we come to god as we take in his love, he is healing us. He is healing the pieces of us that feel like they'll never be mended. But I believe it's so important that we understand the Lord's love for us, that we understand our Heavenly Father's love for us. That you understand that you don't need to be afraid of him. That when you come to him, that he's waiting in his love for you. 
to show you the truth of who you are through his eyes to build you up in confidence. And strength in the way that only he can. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video can help you and um anyway, this is something that I'm currently kind of walking through and um I was just kind of waking up and all these thoughts just kind of came to mind. Um but what I really want you to understand is if people have hurt you in your life, people have said things to you, not to hide from God. Not to hide from God and fear that he is going to do the same thing to you. But that he's waiting in his love. His love, that's the only thing that can bring healing. And as I mentioned that, I believe every time we come to God, we are healing. His love is reaching places deep inside us that desperately need to be reached. The pieces of us that feel broken, the pieces of us that are in so much pain and have carried so many experiences and so much pain throughout our life. But every time we go to God and we are met in that love that love that is constant that love he wants to show us it is bringing healing and over time we may find that we're not in the same place that we were and that our minds have been greatly renewed or that pain doesn't feel so heavy And we see the new life that only the Lord can bring. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day and God bless you.